Did he or didn't he? Joker is a film that challenges its audience to distinguish between fantasy and reality, and the task is never more harrowing than in the final interaction between Arthur Fleck and his would-be girlfriend Sophie. It's particularly maddening because it's impossible to know for sure what went down, unless you have a voice from on high to clue you in. Let's get to the bottom of things and be advised, spoilers ahead. The film's director, Todd Phillips, recently went on record as to whether or not Arthur actually killed Sophie near the film's end, and we'll get to his comments in just a moment. First though, let's do a little refresher course on what happens. In the movie, failed comedian Arthur slowly transforms into the amoral clown prince of crime after a series of humiliations, rejections, and outright physical beatings. It seems that the only thing that may be helping him cling to sanity is his burgeoning relationship with his kind, pretty neighbor, Sophie. One of the only people in his life who seems to accept him for the extremely odd, troubled man he is. It's so awful, isn't it? The final straw comes when Arthur discovers a letter from his extremely ill and stable mother, Penny, which indicates that he is the illegitimate son of billionaire Thomas Wayne, who is in the thick of Gotham City's mayoral race. After a confrontation with Wayne, who tells Arthur in no uncertain terms that his mother is delusional, Arthur pays a visit to Penny, a visit that turns shockingly deadly as Arthur kills his mother and flees the scene. His next stop is Sophie's apartment, and when he arrives, it becomes clear that the relationship has all been in Arthur's head. Sophie recognizes him as nothing more than her neighbor, and she insists that he leave. He does, but given his state of mind, his extremely recent matricidal activities, and the fact that Sophie is never seen again, fans have speculated that Arthur must have done the poor girl in. Joker's cinematographer Lauren Shear has weighed in on whether or not Arthur killed Sophie in the past, and now Phillips has confirmed Shear's take on the situation. Not only is there a definitive answer, but it turns out that a scene was cut from the film which would have confirmed Sophie's fate. The short answer is no, Arthur did not kill Sophie. The simple reason, even in his twisted mind, it wouldn't have made sense. Shear alluded to this when he made his remarks to Slash Film in late October 2019. As he explained, some people have asked me, was she killed? Phillips makes it clear she wasn't killed. Arthur is killing people who have wronged him in a certain way, and Sophie never wronged him. Phillips expanded on this during a more recent conversation with IndieWire, saying, quote, he doesn't kill her, definitively. As the filmmaker and the writer, I'm saying he doesn't kill her, that it's almost like a little bit of a litmus test for an audience to say, well, how crazy is he? Phillips went on to say that most people he's spoken to about the movie seem to understand that Sophie survived, and that Arthur's character wouldn't have taken that extreme step of doing her harm. He clearly has a code he lives by. Of course he did not kill this woman down the hall and her child. Phillips went on to describe a short deleted scene, which was intercut with Arthur's appearance on Murray Franklin's talk show. In it, Sophie was seen at home, watching the proceedings on television with growing horror. While the scene would have unambiguously confirmed that Arthur did indeed leave Sophie alive and well, it was cut for a pretty darn good reason. According to Phillips, we made a choice in the film to only show everything from Joaquin's perspective. We cut out a great scene with Mark Maron and Rob De Niro that didn't involve Joaquin, because it didn't involve Joaquin. Everything was being told through his point of view and perspective, so to suddenly cut to this woman, it would just literally have changed the DNA of the film. Well, that certainly makes perfect sense. We can't help but think, however, that the side effect of leaving Sophie's fate up in the air may have cemented that scene's fate. Joker is a film that is absolutely meant to be open to multiple interpretations, and the question of whether Arthur killed his fantasy love interest is one of the film's great mysteries upon first viewing. That mystery, though, has now been solved. We wouldn't expect Phillips to shed much light on any more of Joker's scintillating questions, however, up to and including whether or not any of the movie's events actually happened, or whether they all took place in Arthur's troubled mind, as many fans have speculated. Sure, we now know that Sophie is safe at the film's end, unless, of course, she never existed at all. With a movie like Joker, answers have a way of just leading to more questions. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite comic book movies are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.